Hey guys, it's Nalcine and I'm back with part two of library hauls. So I got like the first row of the things that are downstairs. Let's start with Bingo Love. This is the jackpot edition and I think there's only one volume and it features two girls, one black girl, one Hispanic girl who they fell in love back in the, um, I guess during the civil rights movement, but mean because, you know, around that time it's not really acceptable. They kind of grew apart then I guess they fall back in love again. So we're following their life and it's so cute, but this is what I want to be. Next, I have Bitterroot Volumes 1 and 2. I wanted to read these two books during um, Ashley's, Ashley and um, Bree's um, book club, comic book club, because I want to read more comics. I just know it features a black family and they're trying to fight these demonic things and just goes on in there. So that's what I have. I have, let's see, I have the Wicked and the Divine series. Now, if you watch my channel before in the past, I started um, reading it, got along, stopped for some odd reason, and now I'm just waiting. On it. I know, like, um, for some odd reason, my library doesn't have, let's see, I have the last volume, phase, Imperials, phase 5 and 6, but they don't have number 7 and 8 for some reason. So, I'm going to have to go on Hoopla for that. So, um, if, based on what I remember, you have all these gods who are reborn every, and they only live for two years, but, like, um, every 90 years or 91, something kills them off. And they're reborn as, like, famous people, like rock stars and stuff. Persephone is obviously my favorite. And I remember being so shocked, because, like, we reached... What arc was it? I know I'm at the arc where the evil things are coming back to like fight them and everything, so that's my mouth. Okay, then we have um the nine the 1619 project, Born in the Water. Um, this is a children's book. I know I wanted to read the adult version of this, but I was like, you know what? Since I'm trying to read more kids and manga, why not why not go with this one? Before I go to the chunker plus, this one was easy to get from my library versus the adult version of this book, because y'all, people are having this fit on hold. I remember like when I've um I heard one person, she's been um, having this book on hold since like last year. I was like, dang, dang. So it's a lot. Next we have um, Giant Days. And this is um, not the test edition. And this is the fall semester. I know this one, I think, has um, volumes one and two. And I know um, I basically was, again, stalking Ashley's um, page, Bookish Realm. Um, I was stalking her page on Goodreads. And I saw that she read this. And since I wanted more... Uh, manga slash comments recommendations i was like you know what this seems like up my alley why not read it so this is just my test right to see if i want to continue with the series <sighs> another <laughs> another um ashley from bookish realms um recommendation um i actually checked this out last year and this is a non-fiction one and this is um chester nez the um and the unbreakable code a novel code um talk talker story and i mean i don't recall obviously i never learned this stuff in high school so i might as well go pick certain topics I wish I knew in high school, go for the kids version before I go for the adult version, you know? So that's my personal plan. Next, you got another Ashley recommendation. You have The Only um, Black Girls in Town by um, Brady Colbert. Uh, all I remember from Ashley's review is that you have two black girls, obviously, in town. Um, some kind of mystery happens, and now it's up to them to figure it out. So I'll be reading this. Next is Twisted which I've been seeing everywhere, um, the tangled history of black hair culture. Um, I've been getting this book in and out of my library for a long ass time, so I think it's time for me to read it. And it's a short nonfiction, so why not? Now then, technically this isn't this isn't from the library, it's my own book, but like I just put it there. Um, I've been wanting to read this for a long ass time. It's called The Cross and the Lynching Tree by James H. Cohn. <sighs> Basically about black people's um, black people's relationship with Christianity. So it's not from the library, but I bought it. <laughs> and it's been on my TBR for the longest. Next is She Came to Slay. I read part of this last year, or was it 2019? Yep, 2019 was when I started reading this. I stopped from some other reason. Now I'm picking back up because <sighs> it was so easy to read and I was learning so much. So it's time for me to finish reading it. Next. Next we have Guns, Germs, and Steel, The Fates of Human Societies by um, Gerard Diamond. Y'all, this has been on my TBR for the longest. Like, I remember um, this was one of the books listed for, like, um, recommended book reads for my um, world history class. For, um, but the AP or honors? No, it was my AP world history class. So, time for me to start reading this. I have the audiobook. Let's get into it. Sorry, I had to start all over again. But, basically, I always wanted to read this. This one is basically about the Teen Titans. I really want the Starfire one, but I don't see anywhere on their page saying that they have the Starfire one. I know they have the um, Robin one, but... It's whatever. Either way, I have the Raven, Beast Boy, and Beast Boy Loves Raven. This is the third volume, so I'm going to read it in order to see if how I'm liking the series before I continue to go and look for the Robin Hood. <laughs> Not Robin Hood. You know Robin's um book. <sighs> Next we have Mon Dracula. 
Next we have Bone Dracula, which has been on my TBR for the longest. So it's one of the kids' books I wanted to read when I was little. I remember seeing this at my library in middle school and in elementary, but I was like, uh, I was interested in other books at the time. So this is just one of the things I want to read. Now, on to the next section. So the next section that I have is Daddy Bakes. All I remember, yet again, another Ashley from Book is From recommendation. <laughs> um, all I remember is that it features a girl who dad, I guess, got out of prison and um, now they're baking together. That's all I know. Okay. <laughs> Bad Fat Bad Girl, another Ashley book from recommendations. Like everybody in the mama technically was talking about it, but like I have a feeling that, you know, maybe I should read this along with um, Hood Back Black Girl to see which one I like better, but it's whatever. Another nonfiction. Next again, <laughs> another Ashley from Book is Realm. Just assume that almost everything is from Ashley from Book is Realm. Sisters in Hate, um, American Woman and on the Front Lines of White Nationalism. I know this is going to be a very hard read. I have the audiobook um, ready to go, so I just might read along with it. Ashley, <laughs> piece by piece, the story of Nasirin's um, hijab. All I remember is that this is a comic book, obviously, but um, you have this 13-year-old girl um, who experienced a hate crime where someone ripped off her hijab, and I guess a nice community came up to help this black girl up. So that's all I know of. Um, you have Riot Baby. Check this out last year. Didn't get the chance to read it because um, at the time, what well, this definitely came out last year, so so many people put this stuff on hold, and I was about to read this beforehand, but before I read Goliath, but Goliath has so many people on hold for that book and have no plans on spending money. Like I said, I only have a budget of 300 for the whole entire year. 300 or 350? 300. I'm going to say 300 for the whole entire year. That includes physical books, audiobooks, all of that. So that's how much I'm going to spend for the entire year. And once you realize how many you going to be spending, yeah. So all I know, Galactic, is it a Galactic Prison? Futuristic sci-fi prison commentary, all of that stuff. Next, I have Nosferatu. It's by Joe Hill. Like, this is like a staple or a classic in horror. And since I want to read more horror, I might as well read this, you know? This seems a little bit on my alley. How far did I get in here? I know I went, like, probably around here this much. So, and I keep returning it back to the library. Next is The Jumbies by Tracy Baptiste. I want to read more slightly horror-ish middle grade stuff. So, that's why it's on the list. I checked this out back in 2019. Now I want to finish reading it. This is the first part of a series. So, we're going to continue. Next, another horror book. Come for me with apples. Um, I don't know much about this, and it's a very short read, so hopefully I can get through this super fast. Uh, I don't even know how to say this, but is this book, um, Paracy? No, Paranesi. All I know is that it's a mystery, speculative, very weird book, and everybody in the mom is like, it's either you like it or you hate it, and you might be mind blown. I have a feeling that this is very similar to, what was that book? The Library of Mount Kerr. I feel like it's one of those vibes, but it's one of them that I'm reading. Another book I'm reading is The Girl with the Loud, the Louding Voice. I don't know if I should return this or not. I just might because simply because of the fact that uh I don't know. I'm just I don't think I'm ready to hit such a hard topic. I feel like this is very similar to the butterfly files or the no, the butterfly song. And when it comes for how hard hitting the topic is. So for now, I'm gonna just I just might return it. I don't know. Next is of course waiting to exhale. I explained in my last book I wanted to read this for. I mean another video that I wanted to read this for. What was it? Missy Elliott challenge. So this was one that I wanted to read. Now then, the next two books within like that row is uh, Keep the Dead Close, um, A Murder uh, at Howard, and Half a Century of Silence. This has been on my TBR since it came out. <laughs> I really want to read more nonfiction, and this seems really interesting to me since it's a true crime. Um, yeah, it's been on my TBR for the longest. I'm sure if you read any of my uh, watch other library halls in the past, you see how many times I've done check this thing out. So there's that. Next is Sourland by River Solomon. Horror slash magical slash I feel like it's a mix of genres. So there's that. Now on to the next section, okay? I'll be back. Next is the mystery um all her little stories. Um all I know it has to do with a lawyer affair with her boss. Boss gets murdered. Now she's trying to backtrack her steps. Next thing you know, she gets hired to take her boss position. So people are looking at her. It's like, did you kill him? Type of thing. I wonder if she's like the only black girl in her office. And that's probably why they suspect her. You know how it is. Next this is also one of those rare chances when I find something new at my library that's new to me, and that is Paper Gods, um, a novel of money, race, and politics. I guess this is a mystery, mystery, law type of thing. So we'll see how it goes. Next, She Who Became the Sun. I'm highly interested in this book, but I don't remember much, even though the fact that it's all over booktube. So time for me to read this. Uh, this is something that I read before um, a long time ago. No, not really that long, but, I, but it's long enough for me to forget what's going on in fantasy, slightly horror-ish, 
I remember I read this for as an arc and I can't believe I forgot now it's time for me to reread this because I wanted to reread more horrors and since it's short it was one of the first things I picked okay I wanted to reread that to reanalyze everything so there's that and it's called the flowers of the sea um oh yeah next we have come closer by Sarah Grin Grin it's another horror demonic possession I'm scared who recommended this on booktube Grant? No, not Grant. He's the one who reads a lot of <laughs> middle school books. That's what I know him for. So when he mentioned this book that surprised him in one of his videos, I was like, oh, okay, might as well check it out. Honey, do I really need to say much about this? It's Black Sun. <laughs> I also have um, The Trail of Not Lightning by the same author. I just want to read this before the second book comes out. And I saw the second book cover. Disappointment. Disappointment is all I got to say. But I need to start reading it. Another book. Oh, wait, let me kind of block. Another book that I'm reading is called The Legend of the Skeleton Man, a two-book collection, Native American um, mythology, and also horror. So that's probably one of the reasons why I picked it up. So that's it for the books inside the house. Time for me to go outside because <laughs> I got a lot of books in the car. Okay, so I'm back outside with my double chin um, and I've gotten all the books so far. I need to double check the other car um, <laughs> that I know that I have checked out <laughs> and this is hopefully the last bit, but I also have one of the good ones, and it's by a sister dealer who also made um, Little Haiti. Is it Little Haiti? No, Eileen goes to um, Haiti. I don't know. It, it's along the title, okay? But um, all I heard was Get Out meets Mystery Thriller slash something else. What the hell is that? God, girl, I'm outside. I'm here wrestling. I'm like, what the hell is that? Anyways, I think I might have to return it, but I just might keep, I don't know. I have to double check online to see how, when it's due, so hopefully I can read it on time. But yeah, this is one of the books I'll be returning today, okay? a few more books okay um you have head games by uh, mary b morrison i forgot who recommended this book to me via their you know video but i've only gotten like when i was at work how long did i get i didn't get that far like only a couple pages in barely finished the first chapter and i already know this is gonna be some hot mess but i'm definitely gonna keep it so i can finish reading it um next is betty i don't even know if this is made by uh someone who is native american but just in case all i remember based on who was it who was it who gave me that review all I remember is that it was something with nerd in the title. I'll put it down below. Oh, The Nerdy Narrative. Yeah, she read this book. She loved this book. It's a huge tome, and I wanted to read more tomes. And she said that this was a very hard book to get through because you're dealing with this girl who lives on the reserve, and she is going through some things like sexual assault, alcoholic um, abuse, his father, or his mother. Either way, it's a. I wanted to. It's been so long since high school or college, for that matter, since I've read, you know, something that's contemporary literary fiction. And I find literary fiction, at least the books that we chose in high school, to be entertaining when you're reading with a whole bunch of people. So maybe I should, you know, like I'm on Storygraph, so, and I'm really glad that they have the option to like, you know, keep your options open for buddy reads. That's one of the things I wanted to do is do some more buddy reads. So maybe I should force myself to either join a book club or be slow reading uh, literary fiction that I'm interested in. So if you have some recommendations, you let me know, hand it over to me, or if you want to read, um, read something together, like I'm gonna like look up the Goodreads and like compare, cause like, yo. A lot of the people that I follow on Goodreads or like friends on Goodreads, we have a lot of similar tastes. So I might, I don't know, be the first one to reach out. But that's it for these four books. Let's see. Some more books. Okay. There's some more books. Trust me. There's a lot more. Like I said, about 93 or 99. This I'm going to return today. It's The School for Good and Evil. This is the first book of the long ass series. I just, because I wanted to read more middle school slash kids books, I just looked on my Goodreads to say, what are the things I wanted to read for a long ass time? And this was one of them, but I might as well return right now because... Y'all, I can't be out here. I mean, technically it's a fast read, but like I'm reading, I just started reading the um the shadow, the gob the shadow of the goblin king. I can see why I was terrified to read that shit when I was younger, because the prologue alone, <laughs> the violence in it, I was like, uh-uh, nightmares, okay? <laughs> so I'll be reading this while returning this. So that's going to be returned. Next you have um Orphe's Ghost. Um she's it's written by the um same author. I'm sorry, it's so bright outside. I'm trying to fix the glare is written by the same author who um wrote dread nation so hopefully that's the thing that i'm gonna read but i might as well return it now because there's other things i gotta read y'all like i might have to check when these books are due like i literally have a spreadsheet of all the things that i've acquired so with the book dates of when i need to return it so i need to double check um next this definitely returning like i said on part one i went on um thrift books this has been on my tbr for the longest because i want to read like like i said i had a love for ancient civilization and Nero he was something that interests me back in college and in middle school when I first learned about him but um this is a historical fiction and 
there's also nonfiction about his mother that I wanted to read, but I don't think it's available at my library. And I don't feel like, you know, I'm trying to be real conservative <laughs> with how much money I spent this year. So this will be returning because I literally bought on impulse um, the first and second book. There's only two books in the series, so it's a duology. This is, I know the first half of the book covers Nero when he was much younger and the second half when he is much older before his untimely death. So there's that. Um, what else? That game's got that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. For the book club. I have Creep. I think I showed you the first book. No, this book two of that series. So I might download the audiobook on Hoopla just so I can read along and catch up for um, the book club. But the problem is, like, it's a good thing for YouTube because I'm learning so much about libraries, especially from um, Ashley and Hoopla in general, because I had no clue that everybody's different when it comes for Hoopla. Like, because obviously my state is small, so I'm guessing the budget is small. Because Hoopla, we are only allowed to check out four books in total for the entire month. And I'm trying to be real considerate because there's a lot, a lot. There's a lot of um, books that are more available on Hoopla than it is in my, um, that I'm personally interested that's in, that's in my, um, physically in my library. So I'm trying to be real conservative to see if I can read the books elsewhere for free. <laughs> so we're going to see. I have the first book and the second book, which I think is called Freak from the same um, person. So I'm interested. All I know is that it's a thriller of deadly attraction. So we shall see. Next is Evil. I had this book on my TBR for the longest. Uh, I had the audiobook checked out a long time ago, but like in, in the CD format, but that, that, yeah, that was a hot mess. Either way, I'm going to read this again because Julia Shaw, like this is the first book that I'm interested from Julia Shaw. And I saw that this year she has this um, book called um, By the History of It. A bisexuality so this is the science behind um, humanity's dark side and i figured i would read this first compared to the other book that i had on my tbr that i actually bought called um what it's not the history of evil i think it's called the history of evil and i saw that they had like a second book and it's also a non-fiction about psychology and everything and i also have what else do i got about evil things um the lucifer effect which i also have that book on ebook and i got the physical copy child i figured i would read this first to see how i would like that subject genre even though those other books have been on my tbr much longer than this one especially since um i took psychology in um of not only in um in college and and in school so it's like and in high school so it's like yo i need to get on it and every time i would see that list i would see those first three books that i mentioned beforehand not this one but the other one so i was like let me get into it let me get into it okay next we have the double house i forgot this girl's name i am so sorry she prefers to read lots of thrillers and i see her books on i mean her posts on instagram and I know she probably has a YouTube channel. I think it's Russell Child. I'm not even going to say. It. Either way, this interests me. I heard that even though it says mystery, I think it's a mix of mystery and horror. So like I said, I'm trying to reach my goal. Next, we have Parable of the Sewer. Can y'all see by Tavia Butler? Definitely need to read. Definitely, this is the first book. And I know that I heard, I didn't know until I saw, um, whose live stream was I watching? I think I was like watching Brie from Log um, that, um that the series is incomplete. So I might as well um read it and I, I think i'm trying to get back into dystopian novels because i don't know that i guess my hype for dystopian novels died the minute that it died for the rest of the community so i figured you know what why not i um watch or like um read any um old school um dystopian novels by black authors and maybe i might fall in love with the genre again and i think i might do the same thing with sci-fi because i feel like you know what if i read more sci-fi books that has you know that was written by black authors i might fall in love with the genre to be honest <laughs> okay Next, we have American Messiahs, this um, by False Prophets of a Damnation. This was one of the books that was recommended from the Sex Cult Nun live stream, uh, where Brie, oh my gosh, Brie, I am blanking out. I'm blanking out people's names, sorry. I will leave links of their channels and videos mentioned, but this was one of the books that they recommended when it came to four cults, and I want to read it. Next, you have book two of this Trump saga called Rage um, by Bob um, Woodward. Woodward? I'm bad with people's names. I need to finish book two, no, book one first. Um, a lot of people have the book checked out for Prevail, as it, um, I guess that book covers the end of um, Trump's presidency as it leads over to Biden's. So, like I said, Ashley got me reading these political books that I have no interest in, but she'd be selling me on it. So, I might as well read too. Next. Another book that was recommended um, in the Sex Quote Nun live stream is The Art of Political Myrtle Who Killed the Bishop. Um, this is interesting. It's written as a true crime, but also history. So... I'm reading it. Oh, yeah. Found it. Freak. Freak. This is the um, book two to, to creep. So, you know, I need to... You know what? Yeah, I probably should download the Hoopla audiobook. Just saying. Nice. A few more things. Malice. I never thought I would um, check out Malice. It didn't seem up my alley, but I forgot who sold the book to me. I think it was beautiful bookish Bethany. I think she was the one who sold me on the book, and it's a duology. So I was like, you know what? Why not? Why not read it? 
Is this YA? No, I don't think it's YA. For some reason, I, I think I saw it in the YA section, but it's not YA. So I'll be checking this out and I heard that it's sapphic romance. So yay for me. <laughs> All right, next, 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 next. Oh yeah, yeah. You have the three, I'm sorry. You have the three Mrs. Grays. Based on this cover, since it's a mystery novel, um, I'm thinking it's either A, really three different people who are married to the same person. And I think if I recall, the person has dead. However, based on the cover, I'm thinking it's split personalities. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to read it. Like I said, in the in the house, um, I checked out the first book of, I forgot what the series is called. Oh, the Six World series. Um, it's called The Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhouse. Horse. Either way, this has also been on my TBL longer than um, Black, um, The Black Sun. So I figured, why not read this? Okay. Oh my gosh. And I also believe that one is also dystopian, but with more um, native mythology. So next we have... <laughs> my sweet girl this is also a mystery thriller um if i recall this is also oh this is also kind of an own voices because it's um south um asian indian to be specific but um you have i guess this indian girl from india who moved to the states she goes missing but i guess she had some kind of interaction with another dude from india but he's been there longer and i don't know she goes missing something's going on and i have no clue like this the picture i don't know i'm looking at the picture and those look like it's two different people blending into one, or maybe it's just the lighting, but I have no clue what's going on. So there's that. What other books? Ray Bearer. Oh, I really need to read this. I think I might as well take this into the house and take some of the books out of the house so I have less clutter. And so that way I can remain focused, but that's probably not going to happen. Um, I know it takes place in sci-fi. So, ooh, I never saw the back. The back looks interesting. So it's a duology and everybody in the mall keeps talking about it. I was more attracted to the cover with the afro and the light and everything. So I was like, yes, checking that out. <laughs> now then, ever since the author, I'm sorry, this is Blood Like Magic. Um, the second book is coming out this year. And ever since um, the author did a live stream with, um, I'm sorry, did the live stream with, how could I forget? It's my favorite book club of all time. Black Crows Book Club. Y'all, don't come for me. But ever since she um, did the live stream, I had this book on my TBR for the longest, but now I'm just now finally getting into it. So there's that and last hopefully last hopefully and you know what now that i'm th looking at it i realized that yes there is a book missing which is ring shout which i need to look for it i'm pretty sure it's in that car um ring shout but um vampires ku klux klan birth for the nation type of situation old hollywood that's what i remember from that short thing but anyways on to this one <laughs> i don't know why i get two hours into the audiobook and stop and it seems so interesting because the action is getting ready and popping and i was like yeah i need to take notes <laughs> But basically, this is To Sleep in a Sea of Stars. Um, when I first saw the book, I saw that it was only one book, that it's a standalone. But I saw on Goodreads that there's another book within a series. So I guess they decided to turn it into series. Or maybe, maybe depending on how this book ends, it's a standalone. But then there's like other books within that same world. And I guess that's why they put it, the book two on Goodreads. So I had to double check. Um, that's basically it. Oh my gosh, I finally did it. That is basically the fuck it. I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> I am really put into spectrum of how many books I checked out and as like I need to control myself which is crazy because here I am the library technically closes at eight o'clock today and I'm returning some of the books that I mentioned and then some and literally as I'm going back to the library to return some books I'm going to the library to check out some books because I because I can't control myself so yeah that's basically it <laughs> goodbye y'all I hope y'all have a nice day you tell me what you checked out your library please go support your local library um and that's basically it <laughs> I really need to control my I'm not done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I figured I should show you all the books I'm returning. Obviously, I showed you I'm returning this one. Okay, The Confessions of the Young Nero. Um, Betty, I'm sorry. <laughs> Even though I said I was going to read it, I was like, you know what? For another time. This is a tome. I got other tomes to read. Um, <sighs> I'm taking my power back, y'all. I finally found Ring Shout. Definitely like I thought. It was in technically this car, but I didn't need the um, car seat. So definitely returning this. Or should I? I don't even know because like there's a horror um, prompt for one of the um, readathons I'm reading. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know. But um, this this has got to go. If you got any, like, recommendations for, like, you know, black horror books. Although I should read it because it's hella short. But it's like, dang. Should I? Should I? I don't know. I don't know. But, like, there was some on Kindle Unlimited that I really want. You know what? Yeah, I do have a book for that. Never mind. It's going to be returned. <laughs> um, the um, Skin of the Sea, returning. What other books am I returning? Let's start with the books that's back here. Orphe's Gulks, returning. Um, the School of... Um, good and Evil, book one, returning. Uh, what other books? Malice, I could always check it out another day, but I'm not interested in reading this right now. So, returning. Um, 
why are all the black kids sitting together in the cafeteria returning and i'm only like doing this part because i want to see how many times i return something and like you know end up checking it out just so that way i know okay i could look back on these books and say okay i remember i wanted to read that so let me go back you know just so i can cut my time in the library in half because the longer i spend in the library the library the more i reach my limit so um rising out of hate wanted to read time for me to return it um oh yeah sport course the sport spqr the um the history of ancient rome returning because i literally bought the book so ain't no reason for me to keep it um bother things african europeans i'll have to read this another day i know i read this for um for review on um not tour gosh gosh i don't know why i'm thinking about tour probably net galley i read this for net galley time for me to return this i'll always um i could always come back to this <sighs> plus i really love the cover anyway next oh yeah this is this definitely gotta go i'm not interested in reading about the history of libraries just yet plus this is a huge chunker it's time for me to go okay so that's basically it now you can okay now you can finally leave goodbye uh, read a book.